three minutes. I'm going to cut it off. I'm Reverend Pinkney Butts' campaign manager. That's disrespect. <clears throat> Listen. We're doing something new. We're trying to take a new path. And that path is a multi-partisan platform. It includes the Democratic Party. It includes all the good from all the parties, because we need to take what's best out of every party and bring solutions to the table and see it through. Not just get promised lies <clears throat> or promise that they're going to do something. And then, I mean, look what they've done already. Have they, have they fixed this community? No. Nope. In eight years. Is she going to speak, sir? We were Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has done nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Please. Is any party, is any party come on, perfect? Come on, you got three minutes. Let's go. Good evening. No, we're not. I'm going to overlook this disrespect I'm receiving because yeah. not one candidate that came up here and spoke had a time limit on one day. We're running out of time. You, you're wasting your time. Good. Okay? You are so disrespectful. Yes. Please you're stop. You're running out of time. You're wasting Please your time. Please stop disrespecting me. Let me talk. Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. My name is Reverend Pamela M. Pinkney Butts. I am currently a presidential candidate for this 2016 election. I have had my presidential candidacy number since March the 2nd of 2015 from the Federal Elections Commission. I have been overlooked. I was going to share some, uh, some passion with you this evening, but I see that I'm in the middle of a battlefield. And I'm literally fighting for this campaign in this election. Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump, Joe Blow, and nobody else has been fighting for this city like I have. Not only against the stand your ground law with the murder of the 137 shots that took place in this city, but everything that this city stands for, I've been fighting for it from a child to today. And I'm not going to sit here and allow anybody to come to Ohio and exploit us once again. Because if the leadership that's working now really worked, we wouldn't have the catastrophe that we have in the city of East Cleveland and in the United States of America. With all of these bodies dropping and predominantly black bodies dropping in this country, I have a good concern about that. As for the dump on Noble Road, I met with Congresswoman, Congresswoman Marsha L. Fudge's office recently. And the reason that that stopped is because the person who initiated was taking bets and taking money and not following through on the process. They were taking bribes. That's what happened. And Congresswoman Marsha L. Fudge has taken the time to see about me, so I know she does have compassion and concern for the city and for this country, along with me. I'm unfortunately concerned about the blatant disrespect that I get as a woman and a woman of color in this race. Because I see the promotion. I am a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And other people have brought their religions in. They are brought in their agendas in. I don't have an agenda. I have you in my heart and in my spirit. See, I walk. Minute. You got one minute. I walk. One minute. I don't one just minute. walk it. I don't just talk it. I live it. Yes, I've been homeless. I have been everything that it takes to run this country. I know what works and I know what does not work. I would love to have your vote and your voice, but not with compromise. I would love to hear what you have to say, but not with compromise. I know that when I come here to these meetings, I still am disrespected because not one man that was asked up here had a time limit. And until we get that disrespect taken away from women, especially women of color, we're going to keep having these challenges. I'm not going to fight with anybody. I don't do that. I'm a preacher of the gospel for real. I'm not in debates. Seconds. 30 seconds. I'm not in debates because the word of God says that our time in this land is not for strife and debate, but it's for solutions to situations. The problem now is we have people bashing one another, beating up one another, and just like right now, I'm being beat up right now and assaulted publicly for being a candidate and told that I have a time limit because a promotion of someone that doesn't even care about us is being promoted. I'm concerned about that. My parents have sacrificed for this city as well as I have. I have my grandchildren here. And I don't just talk it, I walk it and I live it. I'm a member of Black on Black Crime Incorporated as well as many other entities. If you need to reach me, my phone number is 216. 548-0820 and I do apologize on behalf of Councilman Martin for the disrespect he showed my campaign manager too. His name is Stephen Laparo. Okay. And he may be contacted at Stephen Laparo at gmail.com. Mr. Mr. Struthers, thank you very much for what you did for me. I appreciate you. 
more than you realize. And I've tried to reach you to let you know that. God bless you all. Have a good evening. Thank you.